Under the main tab, we have our record mode options. By default, the mode is set to auto, giving us several predefined options, ranging from motion alone, sensor alone, to combinations of motion, sensor, and 24-7 recording. At the very bottom, we also have an option for manual record with variable times. If we change the automatic function to manual, we can manually enter the times for each of the different record types. Going into the schedule config gives us a basic config where we can select 24 by 7, 24 by 5, which is weekdays, and 24 by 2. The edit schedules option will allow us to manually configure each of these schedules based on time. If we were to need mixed recording modes, such as 8 hours of constant recording during business hours, but motion during non-business hours, we would be able to configure that in this location. The encode parameters section allows us to control the recorded stream in event and timed recording. Event recorded stream will change the quality of recorded footage when a motion or sensor alarm is triggered. In this section, we see the stream type, we can change the encode type between H.264 and H.265 if the camera is capable. Under resolution, we can adjust the resolution of the camera as well as the frames per second of the camera. The bitrate allows us to increase for higher quality video, but we'll use higher bandwidth in mainstream and use more hard drive space when recording. Decreasing will drop video quality but use less bandwidth and hard drive space. Audio can also be disabled and enabled here. The dual stream recording function will cause the DVR to record both mainstream and substream. This is useful when reviewing footage on the mobile phone in substream because it will utilize less data. We also have timing record stream with identical options. This section is used when the camera is told to schedule recordings at certain times. The substream function will affect the recorded quality of the camera's substream as well as the video quality when viewing remotely. We have similar settings to the mainstream option. We have our encode type, we can modify our resolution, our frames per second, as well as our bitrate. The record status section gives us a quick summary of how our cameras are recording. As you can see, we have two separate recordings per camera for mainstream and substream. The most important column in this menu is the type of record. As you can see, our current cameras are recording in manual record. 